morning everyone. The sun is in my face. Good morning everyone. It's the next day. Um, we're going for an event. But I'm sad that I'm not allowed to film the event. So, just taking you along to the place. But yeah. And guess what? We had, we had a really good sleep. It's a really nice place we stayed last night and um, yeah we're ready to go now I can't wait I'll try and see if I can have a sneak peek but I'm not sure let's see how it goes So at this point, we finished the event and we are heading back to London, but, I repeat again, but it's no fun going to London without any detour. I mean, we're on a road trip, we should enjoy it. So our next stop is, wait a minute, just wait a minute. Voila! Here we are. Barrow Mom. This hill rises as high as 24 meters high and on top of it it's a ruined 18th century church of church of saint michael so people come here to look around and have picnics and you know connect with nature also when you're on top of the hill you can see the whole town it's so beautiful Obviously, this is not our first time of coming to Barrowmouth. We do come here quite often. Sometimes you come here and you see lots of families here, couples, you know, and it's really fun. And you can you can interact with them, which is really nice for everyone. But my favorite part is sometimes when we come and it's a bit late and. You see lots of people staring around, like looking in the distance and just waiting for the sun to set. It's so beautiful. I stand and I look to my left and to my right and you can see everyone staring into the distance, taking pictures, you know, living in a moment and it's so beautiful. You know, when you're coming to Burma, you can donate um, two pounds. Um, the trust use it to like preserve the place that's that's what we were told that um, the trust use it to preserve the place so it's nice to like donate two pounds when you come and pack your car and walk up the hill so this is the lovely church I was talking about St. Michael so guys at this point my husband was pointing to the Glastonbury Tall ground story behind this so many many years ago when our children were very little we visited um, Glastonbury and we were exploring the place one of the places we visited was the Tall now this is on top of a very steep hill everyone managed to get to the Tall and i only managed to go halfway the hill they got there had some snacks relax look around and came down and i was only halfway there and i didn't finish the tour guys since then we've visited the place multiple times but i keep avoiding the tour i think it's time for me to go back and conquer my fears finish this tour because every time we talk about the tour all 
that comes out is oh but you didn't finish the tour i need to now that it's out there i need to do it i have to go back and finish the tour what the hell oh don't tell me i broke his leg yeah. oh he it. has got broken legs he's got broken legs did i break his legs i hope he's not is he pooing on me what's that thing coming out of his bum he did poo on you <laughs> and then he jumped <laughs> off us anyway <laughs> The bird is hunting for insects. That one. It's gone. Flew away.
our next stop was Stonehenge. Yes. We always stop at Stonehenge for a break. We particularly like parking here because there are lots and lots of people camping here. So it's safer and you get to speak to them as well and know a little bit about them. Very friendly people. to stretch our legs and walk around take pictures and talk to like I said talk to the people around Stonehenge has been there for many many years some archaeologists said it's been there for between um, four to five thousand years no one knows why it was brought to this place or or when it was constructed no one also knows its original purpose some people said it was used as a place of burial some think it may have been used as a calendar others also think it's a place to worship the sun and the moon or a place to um, study the movement of the stars no one actually knows what the place is actually used for i've been asking my children to let their imagination flow and think of what they think the place was used for as you can see it's been fenced and guarded by those two can you see those two men over there guarding the place i think they are um maybe security i think so I've never been inside before. I'm always um, at the outside the fence and looking around, going around to look at the place. But if you want to go in, you can go to their website and get the tickets. And um, mind you, if you want to get the ticket, you have to get it in advance. Yeah. If you or when you visit um, Stonehenge, <clears throat> mind you, there's um, nothing much to do around there except for the stone but um, there are other um, heritage sites around the area that you could visit <laughs> and please don't come being hungry or not having any snacks on you or lunch pack lunch on you unless of course you would like to go to town after and then you know grab yourself some lunch these stones are so heavy they weigh tons and tons and tons archaeologists always wonder how it was transported here without any um these days technology Imagine 4,000 or 5,000 years ago, how they used to live. Hmm, I wonder. On that note, look at the sunset. So beautiful, isn't it? 
nature is so beautiful <laughs> my little road trip to Somerset if you did please don't forget to subscribe comment share and turn on your notification um, button to get notified whenever I upload a video so this is where I sign out and say abanange <laughs>